we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here on this second installment of the Money and Biz reading, okay? So uh, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to this reading with clarity, truth and clarity from you. All right, so um, let's just jump into this. Today, we're going to be talking about the strength card. This was the card that um, was pulled when I was shuffling off camera. So we're going to talk about the strength card in regards to money and business. Okay. We're also going to be talking about the, um, the scripture Galatians 5, 24. You do not have to be of Christian faith to, um, you know, listen to this scripture or to find resonance with this uh, scripture. Okay. So, uh, Galatians 5, 24, it, it says, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Okay. What is this saying to us? Those of us who belong to Christ Jesus. Now I have my own interpretation of what Christ Jesus means to the world. Christ Jesus is an ascended master. He, you know, um, he conquered what we're all trying to conquer in this life. He uh, got to higher level consciousness or Christ consciousness is what someone would would, uh, term it as. So all that, all who belong to a higher consciousness and that higher consciousness is really understanding um, feminine and masculine energy. I mean, when you really break it down to its bare bones, if you understand yin yang, how to use that energy, you can conquer all you can go everywhere and we'll talk about that with the strength card so it's saying all who belong to a higher consciousness christ consciousness who has conquered this world have crucified the flesh crucified what does that mean has killed has put to death has put to rest the flesh the flesh mm, carnal things earthly things earthly desires i want a car i want a house i want a house so i can have a house so i can tell people i've got this big house and i've got these cars and i've got this money in the bank and i drive this and i wear this and i buy it you have crucified you have put to death you know the desires of the world and its passions now you have higher consciousness so now you're in the consciousness of knowing your power, knowing where you best uh, are fitted to serve, right? Serve others, to be in service of others. Therefore, um, you can make money, you can make a living, you can have a greater life, you can have a longer life, you can have a healthier, happier life because you're in a higher level consciousness and you have put to death uh, the desires of the world, what the world tells you to go after. All of that stuff is fringe benefits. It will be added to you once you come to understanding why you're here, what you're here for, uh, what the God of the universe put you in, in this in this earth at this very time 
uh, what you're here for, what your purpose is, where you will be, um, where you will best serve others. Cause that's where you'll find your purpose. A lot of people come to me for purpose and, um, I want to do a whole series on that. Um, so that people can, you know, find their purpose. Purpose comes with serving, right? Think about it. Purpose. Okay. If you walk into, um, let's say it's Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, right? And, and everybody's going to celebrate at your great aunt's house. Um, the scheduled time is about 2 PM, 1, 2 PM. You get there early. You get there about 12 noon. Well, when you walk in there, they still may be setting up food isn't all out and ready on the tables. You may walk in and say, well, how can I be of purpose? How can I help serve? Right. There you are. You found purpose by serving. And that's what you need to do in life. Where can I uh, best serve? Um, find purpose in in this thing or and then you can couple it with what you love what what you're wired to you may like clothing you may like to design where can I you know get in and serve others you know where is there a void that I can feel and be of service to others where can I give back where can I can I exchange my service to others okay so those who belong to a higher consciousness have crucified the worldly desires and its passions. Um, they're about where can I serve? How can I serve? How can I be of service to others? Because if I find that, then I'll find the, the riches that I'm actually looking for. And then when you find higher consciousness, your whole mind shifts in terms of wanting all these quote unquote riches. You know, it, it really shifts. Do do it. Find higher consciousness and see, don't your desires shift. You want it that Bentley Coop after you get higher consciousness, after you really ascend, after you go higher, after you understand yourself and your willpower and why you're here, the Bentley Coop looks so minute, so small to you. You can have it. You cannot. You can take it or leave it. It won't matter to you as much. You get it. Great. You don't. So what? So find higher consciousness is what Galatians 5:24 is uh, telling us. And then the strength card, what it is telling us in terms of money and business is once you find uh, that higher consciousness, once you find where you can serve, this is a good card for those of you who are saying, should I go into self-employment? Yes. Most times when you find your higher self, that's what you want to do anyway. You want to have, um, self-actualization, self-fulfillment. You want to go into self-employment because you know your power. You know where your best, um, uh, where your energy is best uh, put or um, expended, where you will um, serve, where you can be of service to others. Um, this card talks about higher, con higher consciousness in terms of the, the emotional intellect, okay? And it talks about unbridled, passion. You know how to brittle that passion. You know how to tame that passion and put it out there so that the world can um, be receptive to it. You don't have to co coerce anyone into aligning with you. Um, all you have to do is step into your power and be courageous and knowing that you can do it, that you will do it. Also, the strength card talks about this is a great time for you to maybe pay off some old debts settle some old accounts. This is a great time to invest in yourself because you have the money. You have a great nest egg. It's a time where you can be a bit riskier in your ventures or in your, um, maybe in your investments also, uh, back to self-employment. It's a great time for you to at least explore self-employment to look and see what it is you can do. It talks about, uh, knowledge of uh, knowledge, intellect, you know, um, purity and then power. Okay. So you, you know where your power is, you know, where, um, you function best and that pure, um, knowing there you're going to, uh, kind of take that raw power, passion and turn it into something great. You're going to form it, shape it, and you're ready. You're not just going to jump out there and do something. You're going to be structured. 
you go into a uh, half structure, you're going to um, have confidence and courage because you, you know exactly where you should be. Uh, the ground is fertile with the green there um, because you come into understanding uh, where you're best fitted. So today is about, for money and business, it's about understanding where you should be serving, where you should be of service to, or how you should exchange your service. What are you great at? How can you uh, present it to the world with a little finesse? That's what the strength card talks about. And this is a great time for you to pay off settle old accounts. This is also other people's money. You know, with the eighth house, if we want to talk about the house, the strength card can be kind of associated with that. Um, so it's about the exchange also. The exchange, other people's money for your service, for your product, for what you offer. And it's solely within you. Um, and it's with the purest intentions. It's not to coerce, it's not to swindle, but it is so that the exchange can happen because you found where um, it's best for you to um, cultivate, show, show off your talents. This could even be that you're a performer of some sort, um, that you're on a stage, or um, this could even be honing uh, or cultivating your talent, okay? Or, or just coming into knowing that you're great at this thing. It's now time to get paid for it. Let the exchange happen here, okay? So this, wow, can't make it up. Except told me to look at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. So definitely, there's some Leo out there. This could be significant. But definitely, the Queen of Wands is all about entrepreneurship. She's about charisma. She's about putting herself out there. Um, she's about networking. She can get a lot done in a short amount of time. This is um, a purpose. You know, this is life purpose. This is somebody who knows why they're here. Like, you can't move them from this. This definitely could be entertainment for some of you or needing to really put whatever it is you have out there. You need to put it out there because it's going to be well received. You don't have to manipulate, coerce people into taking to it. No, it's just going to be well received. Um, this is about passion. This is about being in the spotlight. Some of you could be exotic dancers or performers or um, burlesque or something of that nature. I don't know, you know, whatever it is, um, it's something about seducing, okay? Um, what you say seduces other people or how you put something out there. You could be in sales also is what I'm getting. It just looks as if right now, this is the best time for you to maybe explore self-employment um, maybe ask for a raise. This is the best time to pay off debts or to even um, take on a healthy debt here. One that will help you further your agenda in, in finance and career, right? This is a time for you to take action. This is fire. This is um, passion here. She's got the white cape also. She's got the white dress. This is purity, but it's like the pure understanding of where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. And it only comes by way of higher consciousness or Christ consciousness, you know. Um, we're gonna do a whole series on that too, how to kind of attain Christ consciousness, because it's, it's really gonna be a kind of a breaking down of ego, of self, of all of that, right? And really um, put into death what the world tells you to go after. Go after what it is you love to do, what you can do for free, you know, if life was free, right? Um, what you could do in your sleep, what you what you dream about doing, how do you uh, bring that to the world? How do you um, let that shine in you, okay? She's got the sunflower there, so sun, shine. How do you let that come out? This is what I have for the money in the business career reading today. If you want to be surrounded with other like-minded business individuals, you can sign up for the KTMG 
monthly conference call is to keep the momentum going monthly conference call where we get on a call with like-minded business individuals like yourself they could be uh, already in business or wanting to start business right now there is a wait list i didn't know this was going to like be this successful when i put it out there i just thought you know whatever um but there is a wait list get on the wait list um join that monthly call because it's going to catapult you into the place that you're supposed to be invest in yourself uh, invest twenty dollars into yourself you know come on you've got it we spend 20 bucks on man 20 bucks is it's like two dollars today right um it might even be like one dollar tonight <laughs> um so anyhow take the time if it's on your heart to move in this arena move in this space then take the time and be around other like-minded individuals who can feed that fire who you can network with um you know take the time to do that and also if you feel like you um you want to get on a discovery call with me you're in business or you want to be in business um go ahead and schedule your discovery call uh, the links are below you can also do the QR code if you saw that in the video and if you took something from this reading you can always just give back um, you could buy me a coffee yes I love coffee lattes um, the link is below catch me live every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night at 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I want to say shout out to New York LA Chicago Dallas London Houston Atlanta and Philadelphia I get high viewership in those places so hey y'all uh, thank you for being here um, also if you want to get your own personal reading so we can kind of drill down on your life um, you can go to the website and book your personal reading there it's 40% off use code 40 off at checkout okay thank you guys many blessings to you more to come take care